I had to, uh, it took me a little while to get here. But it was fun. <laughs> once I got, it was fun once I got into your neighborhood. What's what was going I on? I had uh, I got into a little. Uh... This might surprise you, but I haven't been outside the house yet. <laughs> you're wearing your robe. The audience can't see you. I'm wearing a robe. <laughs> I have a feeling that you're not wearing anything else. Oh god! <laughs> this is, a distinct see, this is my thing. Is I've got a robe, and then I've got gray sweatpants, and then I also have a pair of gray long johns it's that I like... often wear under the robe, which it's is gray. Quite warm today. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm real stinky. <laughs> No, that's my problem is I'll be out I'll be out on the town, which is what I call going to my car <laughs> to get something out of my car. I call the walk to go get some rotten cheese. Yeah, I go to the market. I I, call, I say, hey, I'm going out on the town, and then I really just go get my wallet from my car <laughs> so that I can uh, use my credit card online to order a new robe. To order I a sweated new, through this one. Or some more goddamn deodorant. I'm too stinky to go outside. <laughs> now then, people, my neighbors just see me and they're like, "Damn, it's real comfortable in just a robe," because they can see that I have no shirt. Yeah. <laughs> So they assume no pants, yeah, which is the same no assumption pants. I made. Oh yeah, a lot of people assume no pants. You got to watch yourself, man. You can't be that. You can't be that smelly. Are there, I are, went through a real smelly period lately. I, <laughs> hey, all right, old <laughs> well, so dating, I guess. <laughs> Just joking. I went through a real smelly period, and uh, it. I, I don't know if it's related. <laughs> I don't know if the two were related, Whoa. but at the end of my smelly period, I have now developed a UTI. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those things where the sensors are going to be like, you got to bleep this, but then we're going to be like, no, no. It's, no, it's fine. He's using... He's, <laughs> no, period doesn't mean a gross... Th- he's using it. He's it's just a medical saying, term. He's just saying he smelled. He's, he's <laughs> Said he smelled. This had nothing to do with the lady. <laughs> Say he smelled, and then later, it hurt to pee. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I was terrified. I was like, did I? I was like, because I was like, am I so? Because like, am I so dirty that I created gonorrhea? <laughs> yeah, you like, are. <laughs> I was like, if gonorrhea hadn't existed, would I have been patient zero right now? Yeah, you're patient zero. <laughs> You're like those things how they're like, oh, AIDS looks like it was actually around in like the 20s and there's some random other community. Yeah. You're one of those. I'm one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I've created, I've turned my penis into a Petri dish. Yeah. <laughs> I should get a grant, at least. <laughs> Your penis or is a like grant a Petri test. dish. Because often a, a bunch of undergrads gather around it with silly glasses. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, it's a petri dish because it's so small. You need a microscope to look at it. Now we're just doing like a bad improv game. My dick's like My a dick. petri dish because <laughs> because. No. no, yeah, it's it's super fun. <laughs> <laughs> so what is it? What's the what are the pros of a UTI? Uh, I mean, I'm a real pro at it now. Well, and I think of people who are the <laughs> pros of having a UTI. I think like Nick Nolte, <laughs> guys who fuck on a beach. <laughs> Those are the pros of having a UTI. <sighs> no, I remember we went on a trip. Uh, I don't know how I know this in hindsight, but we went, it was like a family vacation, but instead of my mom going with us, my brother's girlfriend, he was in high school at the time, yeah. she came with us, and my mom did not. Yeah. So it was almost like my brother and his high school girlfriend were the parents. Were the family. <laughs> the, were the parents. And then I was there, and my dad was the, like, grandpa figure. <laughs> The old coot. <laughs> so obviously they're getting away with a lot of stuff, stuff. on the, on the And she's not getting trip. up to pee. She's getting wrecked. No, and at one point they were just hanging out in the ocean for a while. <laughs> they really and then the like ocean. a week later, I remember her. I remember on the rest of the trip her being like in pain somewhat and like needing to pee a lot. <laughs> And then I remember later, like, find being like, I don't know, it's, I don't know if my mom sat me down. No, I don't know. <laughs> sat me <laughs> down on her knee. Somehow I remember learning about UTIs after that. <laughs> and I'm just now linking it up that, oh, that's definitely how that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought you were going to say that your mom stayed home because she had a UTI. <laughs> my, mom, my mom and my dad had been taking a, a mini trip to the Lake Erie beaches. 
<laughs> They're making love quick in the sands trips. of Lake Erie. <laughs> quick day trips. Not even a day. You can why have... do you think fucking in the ocean is the only way to get a UTI? <laughs> I don't. It's just, I'm telling you, it's my formative. <laughs> it's my formative. <laughs> Eric, I'm, I'm spilling my guts here. Come on. <laughs> Telling you about my formative Professional memories. comedy. This is my Nanette. <laughs> UTIs. <laughs> In the waters of Key West. Key West. But you know what? I really always loved Key West. Not anymore. No, I still do. <laughs> I haven't been there since then. <laughs> I wonder if I would be on Key Because Key West is small. So yeah, like you see small. the whole thing. Yeah. And I wonder, and I've been there twice, so this would be my third time. And I wonder yeah. if I would be That's walking the charm. around. You'll get a UTI. <laughs> I wonder if there'd be a moment where I'd be like, God, this part of the beach looks familiar. Oh, oh yeah. No, it's all coming back. <laughs> oh, yeah. My brother. <laughs> Having sex in the ocean. <laughs> that just doesn't even sound fun. <laughs> and me as an... You want to know, does this help to describe what I'm wearing at the time? Sure. To let you know that I have a ball chain necklace. Oh. And a, like, leather wristband oh. with, like, little studs. Yeah. <laughs> Looking like I'm in junior Judas Priest. Hell, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that is a good look, bro. Yeah, so I'm in, like, seventh grade. <laughs> Some 41 is really important to me. <laughs> My brother's making love in the <laughs> southernmost waters of the U.S. <laughs> God, summer vacation, uh, spring break. <laughs> spring break. <laughs> I don't know why my mom didn't go on that trip. <laughs> she would have stopped that. I like to think it's my mom's, like, in her mind, she's like, I'm not going to stop it, but that's going to happen, and that is gross. <laughs> gross. <laughs> I don't want to be in the same ocean as my sons come. I remember we kept watching old school because for some reason oh, it's great. DVDs were relatively like new. Yeah. So we were like, hey, we got old school on DVD. <laughs> Let's watch it eight times <laughs> over the course night. of this week. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it's worth a rewatch. <laughs> Let's watch Vince Vaughn be charming. <laughs> I like that bowl. Can I just take that bowl with me? We got penguins, <laughs> but they're wearing winter hats. Is they're cold. Where the fuck are they, space? <laughs> they're on Pluto or something. <laughs> there, where is a penguin that he's like, burr? <laughs> or maybe, am I rude? Maybe all penguins would be like, we would love a jacket. I, it's, I'm still cold. <laughs> I'm very cold. <laughs> you think I could sew something with these fucking things? <laughs> You know, I hear most... I hear. I hear. <laughs> I heard. I've, I've been at the bar and people have been talking about penguins. <laughs> Turns out they were talking about the Pittsburgh penguins. It was more about Sidney Crosby and I hear and most legacy. penguins are tropical. <laughs> Fuck Sidney Crosby. I'm playing for the Pittsburgh penguins. How do you know that? I'm, I know everything. How do you know that? Are you wearing a reverse wire? <laughs> He's wearing the reverse wire. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it took me a little while to get here because once I got into your neighborhood, I hit a little bit of a traffic jam. Uh, oh, my neighborhood's two blocks. Well, there was, a, there was a guy. There was a guy playing with his RC car in the street, and he wouldn't get it out. Better than what he was playing with yesterday. <laughs> I had to yield to his RC. I had to yield to an RC car. I know it's awkward. <laughs> I was like, how do you not notice me? <laughs> you want to be like, signal. But then in a way, it's like you're making fun of the kid for not having enough money. Oh, it was an adult. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it was a grown man. <laughs> Much older than me. Are there any adults who are like... It was like a middle-aged black guy, and his girlfriend was on the porch filming him. And I was like, you're way too far away his girlfriend to get was... a good shot of an RC car. His girlfriend was on the hood of the RC car twerking <laughs> as he drove it down the street. <laughs> It's like I'm making a tiny music video. <laughs> uh, also, because I went a different way when I got here. I also drove by a house that had a boat that looked so fucked up, parked in front of it, on like a trailer. Oh, we are by water. <laughs> it would be weird if it was beautiful. <laughs> that guy got uh, a beautiful yacht. Uh, <laughs> it was completely marooned. <laughs> We're near water. There's lakes and things. You can take it out on the Ohio. The Ohio River. Yeah, the most beautiful river in the world. Yeah, it goes all the way from Pittsburgh to uh... Ohio. Yeah. <laughs> and a little farther. Other <laughs> a little farther. Hey, but, uh... I grew up by the Cuyahoga River in yeah. Ohio. Yeah. And I was always just like, oh, that's the Ohio River. The Cuyahoga River. <laughs> like, I remember knowing the name. <laughs> 
I knew the name, the Cuyahoga River, but I was like, no, that's the Ohio. Each so, state has a, a river. river. <laughs> Their own, and this one's ours. <laughs> this one is the Cuyahoga River. But an outsider's probably called the Ohio River. Yeah. And <laughs> we got to know both names. Yeah, I got to know them, but in case I'm talking to a tourist. <laughs> yeah, in case. <laughs> I was real smart as a kid. Cuyahoga? Oh, you mean the Ohio? The Cuyahoga. <laughs> Eric, how do you think Cuyahoga is spelled? This is going to be C-U-O-Y-G-H-E-A. funny. C U O Y G H E A. I think it's close enough. <laughs> 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 That's you did fine. <laughs> Never mind. That wasn't very funny. You got pretty close. <laughs> I forgot you like Randy Newman. <laughs> You've got a cheat sheet in oh, your I brain. About that. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> this is gonna be my. This is gonna be my um, '70s SNL packet. <laughs> How do you spell Cuyahoga? No, it'll be the stoned <laughs> uh, spelling bee judge. <laughs> ah, that's good. Do we have a replay? <laughs> Could you spell it again? Can you spell that one more time? I think <laughs> I was. It's spacing. in the rules that the judge gets to hear it twice, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I get to see a copy of it in front of me. What word? <laughs> what was the word again at all? <laughs> Which, uh... <laughs> Look at this fucking guy's glasses. Why didn't someone <laughs> spell uh, Funyuns and bring me some? I write that, I give it on a postcard to Al Franken, <laughs> and then boom, I'm doing coke with Jim Belushi. Dead. <laughs> Dead. Dead two years later. Just like I've always wanted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that boat. is this fucked up looking <laughs> boat that's parked in front of this guy's house. And fucked it, up looking boat. You know what the name on it was? What? Entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. <laughs> He's like, start up. It won't. It will not. <laughs> I'm trying to get it to. It won't turn over. I can't. <laughs> Last time I tried to turn it on, it turned on, but then the fucking... <laughs> I fucking rotor started going and it just started smacking against the concrete and it all flew apart. We're sunk. <laughs> I crashed my boat in my front yard. I'm trying to be an adventure capitalist. <laughs> I'm trying to be an adventure capitalist on my boat. In my boat. My startup boat. My startup boat. <laughs> You know, my friend worked for some company that was called, like, the Startup Bus. <laughs> it was back when Obama was president, you yeah. know what I mean? It was when you could just get a job where it's like, you're going to get $18,000 a year, and, but hey, free, a free cell phone. Free cell phone. And you are going to be on a bus for 11 months out of the year. <laughs> so you don't even need to worry about, like, rent or anything. Going town to town, creating... The future. <laughs> create the future. Doesn't the future just exist? <laughs> Why do I need to create it? It's this, but you don't see the guy giving the speech. You see, only see him from behind. So you yeah. see his arms. And everyone's like nodding. And then you see the guy's face and he's just really coked up. He's <laughs> just like, we're going to get on a bus. We're going to get on a bus? We're going to get on a bus? And we're going to... No, the, the startup bus. See, when I was in college, that's like what my peers were doing with shit like that. Yeah. And my mom would be like, you need to get like an internship. You need to like get, use your college degree. I was like, boy, you want me to live on a bus? <laughs> <laughs> Going down to town, <laughs> creating this failing small businesses. Why don't, if I'm going to do that, I might as well just do comedy. <laughs> That's kind of what I do. With, I'll just go, hey, this brewery should have shows six months later. Yeah. We don't do shows because the comic got murdered. The comic got shot on stage <laughs> when he wouldn't stop saying the N-word over and over. But hey, I made 200 bucks and then got the fuck I out got of the town. fuck out of town. I may have inadvertently caused a murder, but yeah. what are you going to do about it? I may have lost a bunch of people their jobs <laughs> and families. <coughs> Because what is Enron if not a, uh, you know, whatever, you, you know. You get it. You Fuck. fucking get it. You fucking get it, man. Jesus Christ. Use your goddamn imagination. <laughs> you ever um, eat an apple like this? God, fuck. You ever eat it? Yeah, sorry. You ever eat, I peeled with skin. I don't think this visual gag is playing <laughs> off very well. It's not even working for you. <laughs> And you can see it. I was doing a bit where I was trying to peel, peel apple. the apple skin 
and then it would keep breaking in my hand. Because <laughs> you can't peel. Go get an apple. Go peel an apple. You got a knife? You got like a cool pocket knife I can do it with? Well, that would be nice. Yeah. Yeah, I hope that no muscle, mu- muscle man. <laughs> Mountain man. <laughs> I wish I was a muscle man. <laughs> You're thinking of muscle man. <laughs> I keep saying it. <laughs> After years of watching wrestling, it's finally I'm finally starting to think about doing steroids. <laughs> I remember being like, a, like, like a, in seventh grade or so. So I'd already like grown all the way and shit. Yeah. And I remember being like, man. It would be cool because I'm a charismatic person and I look like acting. It would be cool to be like a professional wrestler. I hope that when I grow up, I'm big and so fuck. I'm already, <laughs> I'm already grown up. Shit. God damn it. <laughs> Never mind. You should have started back then, man. I know, man. You I should have been in fit fighting shape by now. I, that would be so cool. <laughs> CT. CT. A lot of muscle injuries. Debt. <laughs> I owe a ton of money to Chipotle. <laughs> Chipotle? Oh. I gotta eat like four yeah. chicken burritos a day. Uh, Rally should be like, we sell breakfast food. <laughs> okay. But it's because they're open so late. <laughs> Like, they should somehow do their hours so rallies open to, like, 6 a.m. Yeah. And 5 and 6 a.m. is breakfast food. Yeah. And then they close. And then they close for a couple hours. And then they re like And they reopen up as so a that, lunch So place. that they make, it's in the hours. Yeah. That they are open so late that they serve breakfast. They serve breakfast. Not because they're open early. Not because they're open early. <laughs> they're not open early. Yeah, they just switch over. <laughs> they're open so late. They close the kitchen down. Yeah. <laughs> they put all the dinner shit away. Bring out all the breakfast. Yeah, you have shit. all those like places where they're like, we sell, we serve brunch, so we've got like breakfast, but also we got like lunch. We're open. Yeah, we got like we're, you we're know, open like lunch hours. You can have a burger if you want. Because hey, it's like we're a laid back breakfast place that's open. Yeah, what we're if chill. you were like we're a really anal breakfast place, so <laughs> you can come in on dinner the night before because <laughs> we will be here prepping. <laughs> Because we take this really seriously. We take this very seriously. <laughs> so come in the night before or for breakfast. I'll be or for breakfast. <laughs> also, I can come in for dinner? No. No. We'll see you at 6 p.m. the night before <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> we'll give you some leftover eggs. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, everything would be uncooked. <laughs> it's prepping. Give you some eggs. Raw eggs. Yeah, man. You are at breakfast? Uh, not today. What do you like for a breakfast? I like a breakfast burrito. I went through a big be- breakfast burrito kick. I went through a big breakfast burrito. Then it crawled through the <laughs> eggs and <laughs> the salsa was getting in my eye. <laughs> Play I, I was on a Nickelodeon I guts. was on Nickelodeon. <laughs> <laughs> it was a cool game show. I <laughs> doubled there. I wonder if Franklin is big enough to have prostitutes yet. Yeah. <laughs> it must be. I don't think it was when I was there. My mom stopped at a gas station in Franklin or somewhere. Yeah. And then I went, oh, it's where Eric's room. And she went, really? Fascinating stuff. Which is like, <laughs> she she was like interested. <laughs> like all of her frame of reference was that she went to a gas station. <laughs> And I told her a person she knows lives from there. I thought he like emerged from a oh. swamp or something. Oh. <laughs> no, when my, when my mom and I were at your restaurant, we thought that there was no line. Yeah. So we we're like, oh, you can just hang out. No one's here. Yeah. We're doing a good thing by making it look busy. Yeah. Clear this other person's tables. Yeah. And then we were leaving. We realized that there's like that little like nook, and we're like, oh, there's a bunch of people waiting. <laughs> <laughs> In our minds, we were like, no, we're like helping out, uh, <laughs> making it look busy. <laughs> uh, how'd you like the, how'd you, what did you get, the brisket? 
I did. It was good. Yeah. Normally, I get like one of the burgers. We gotta stop. We can't talk. People will figure out. They're gonna figure it me out. Damn it. <laughs> There's a lot of very specific menu items in this place. Yeah, that's true. We'll stick with just talking about the brisket. It is funny because it's served. Everything's not everything, but stuff served on those big boards. Yeah. Like a handle, like a cutting board with a handle. Yeah. And then my mom kept going. When I was in high school, they used to hit people with these. <laughs> <laughs> Which then, she said it, she actually said it when someone was walking by with one, and yeah. then when our food got delivered, she said it again, and then I went, I went, with these? And then I, like, pushed, I went, I pushed away as if, like, no thanks. <laughs> no thanks, just touched my mom's bottom. Just touched a high school kid in the 70s? <laughs> what is it, my <laughs> shop coach? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's was, that was a funny gag. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. No, that guy who was uh, serving you could not uh, pull it together that night. <laughs> he seemed to be having some trouble. <laughs> he was, he's, a, he's a new father. He was a little tired. That was one of those moments where you're like, they bring, it's three people, they bring two of the people's things. And then they're, all right, be right back with yours. And then they go, be right back. And then you go, I bet he forgot it. <laughs> and, and, then, the, and then there's like an extra beat. And then you're like, oh, no. <laughs> And that was, we're going up to that table. I know from watching Gordon Ramsay, even non-restaurant <laughs> folks know that you don't send the table unless <laughs> everything's good. Uh, and then the table next to you, I was bringing out the food, and he was like, "Wait, all that's wrong." <laughs> Did he really? <laughs> He's like, "Come back! I fucked all of that up." <laughs> <laughs> that day was funny because when they sat down, they sat down like when we got our food, and then they went, "What is that?" <laughs> oh yeah, I saw them. <laughs> and there's a moment like you can steal it. Like, why are you so aggressive? What is going on? <laughs> you can steal my brisket. I'll paddle you with this fucking paddle. Listen, if you take the sandwich away now, all I got is a weapon. <laughs> I'll hit you. Bop. I'll hit you and teach you algebra. <laughs> And the beautiful history of early America, as taught in 70s history textbooks. Oh. Nah, man. You ever hit anyone with those, like, back, backstage at work? Backstage. backstage. You showbiz types. It's like... <laughs> you think everything's just a fucking game. One of your little plays you do. That would be an awesome kitchen nightmare is if it's like Devin Sawa. He owns a chili place in New Mexico. <laughs> it's like Gordon Ramsay yelling at a vaguely famous person. <laughs> it's insulting to your chefs. It's not called backstage. Brad it's the Gar- kitchen. It's Brad the Garrett's kitchen. comedy castle is on Bar Rescue this week. Oh, that'd be great. You some, some white girl who hates dreadlocks is definitely gonna... <laughs> These white liberal women hate dreadlocks. <laughs> they yell at everyone with dreadlocks. Every single person with dreadlocks. I don't see color, but I do notice that every time I, I see a dreadlock boy. person, white liberals yell at them at the 311 concert. Uh, You're listening to 311. We missed 311. We missed 311. Days ago. We got Pi Day. I like your listen to 311. I ever listen to pie. Wait, no, that's cake. <laughs> I I'm actually going, haven't listened to a lot of cake. Going to the bakery. <laughs> I'm going to pick up a pie. She was making a crust and filling it <laughs> with blueberries. <laughs> no, <man>. Perfect lattice. <laughs> oh, you ever listen to 311? Uh, no, not on purpose. This is what it sounds like. And white people enjoy this. No, I'm trying to find a specific. This is it. So, so they got. So they got this guy who sings. And then it goes to that guy who raps. Doesn't this guy who raps sound like he's tiny? Yeah, he does. <laughs> it sounds like he's in a jar. Yeah, he like, sounds, sounds like they carry him around in his pocket. <laughs> and then goes the big guy who's holding him. 
<laughs> and then he goes to pay, and then he holds the microphone up to his jaw. He opens up his chest pocket, his <laughs> breast pocket on his shirt. And just, all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little cricket guy. Yeah, a little Jiminy Cricket in 311. Well, 311 is named after that guy's height. <laughs> <laughs> Not down. This song's called Down, which that that writes itself. Yeah, because he's slow. Because he's it writes itself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I threw. Out, I guess I wore my Marilyn Manson shirt when I was like fourteen. I think <laughs> this guy is getting into college. Is like I still dream of my Marilyn Manson did tattoo. You, did you buy your Marilyn Manson shirt? Uh, not not new. Bought it at a Plato's closet. Oh, okay. It was a real find. I was about to say, me. how did your parents react to that? It was a real find for me. Oh, they didn't enjoy it. I bet not. And I didn't even really enjoy Marilyn Manson. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> just seemed like the right thing to be wearing. It's like, I love Columbine. <laughs> it seemed like the right thing to be wearing. I don't know wearing. enough about it, yet I'm also a fan. <laughs> <laughs> no, he had some good songs. He wrote the theme song to M.A.S.H., what? <laughs> a Franklin and Bash? A match. Oh. No, I was like a 14-year-old. No, boy. I had some, I downloaded something off LimeWire that was, I don't know why I was like, oh, this will be good. No, the MASH theme song was written by a teenage boy hanging out with um, <laughs> Hollywood executives. That's true. That is a true story. Oh, my God. That's great. I think it was the guy's son, but it's more fun to say it the it's way I said fun. it. <laughs> Just a random young boy. <laughs> Who knows why he's there? Which that's funny. It's like probably the only time that's worked where someone's been like, hey, we need a theme song. Oh, my kid wrote a thing. <laughs> like, sure. And then like a week later, they're like, we need a logo for uh, the Brady Bunch. And someone's like, what if my kid draws them? <laughs> they're like, no. <laughs> oh, we're not going to keep doing this. <laughs> we're not going to keep Look, class projects are not allowed by NBC Legal. <laughs> uh, what if this is a show about friends? You got Did it. your kid write this? <laughs> <laughs> no, the guy likes dinosaurs. No, friends. <laughs> One guy loves dinosaurs. They all hang out in a coffee shop like adults. Like adults? <laughs> And they have sex. They all have sex with each other. And they all live together. <laughs> like adults Like do. adults do. It's <laughs> a 42-year-old guy in a suit saying this. <laughs> uh, so you're telling me that if I ask your son who Ross is... Well, listen, I talk about the show at home a lot, okay? He's going to know who Ross is, but that doesn't mean he wrote him. And then the secretary comes in. Sir, your 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 middle child is on the phone, and then the middle. He, he, all right, and he picks up the phone, and he's just like, oh, "Dad, could you have answered the phone any slower?" <laughs> <laughs> as old as a dinosaur. <laughs> when you study it, my sister's smelly cat keeps running around. <laughs> Phoebe. <laughs> Phoebe! Phoebe! Uh, who are you going for in the, uh, <laughs> friend of, among the friends? Joey, of course, but what about the women? To be my friend? <laughs> I don't, I've only seen one episode of Friends. Uh, uh, I don't, I don't, uh... I didn't yeah, like I it. guess Joey. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be tender, I think. I like the black one. <laughs> Black people do not exist in Friends. No, I've seen one episode of Friends. I, uh, I, as a kid, was confused because people would be like, these are hot people. And then I was like, no, they aren't. Lisa Kudrow? <laughs> well, that was part of what confused me. Because they'd be like, oh, Friends is, uh, they're all, it's three attractive ladies. And three hot dicks. But it's like, Lisa Kudrow's not that. She's just a normal looking lady. Yeah. And Courtney Cox. And then that confused me because they, could, they weren't allowed to. Be, they weren't allowed to tell me as an eight-year-old, it's two attractive ladies and one just normal-looking lady. Just one normal lady. So then me as an eight-year-old would look, they'd be all three lined up, and I'd yeah. look at the first one, and I'd go be like, this lady's not attractive, and then I'd close the magazine. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa Kudrow brought down the average uh, she to the point where I never yeah. even thought about it. But, you know, bell curve. 
Yeah, but then again, I think that says more about uh, How our society. No, because everything was so horny when I was a kid. Yeah. That made me think, like, that the Your world was... fucking in the ocean. Your mom's the ocean. staying home from a vacation so she can some dick on the side. <laughs> yeah, who knows? She's <laughs> taking a guy to Lake Erie. <laughs> Getting a big old whale. <laughs> There's no whales in Lake no, I Erie. So. I don't think I don't, so. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> I'm not going to say for certain. No, the world is so sexual. I thought, like, Pam Landis was going to be the president by now. Ah, she probably will be. She's still kicking. She's still alive. She's telling she played soccer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chris, news today. Cristiano Ronaldo, dead at 67, not still kicking. Or I shouldn't have the opposite way. Not still kicking. Christian Ronaldo found dead he'll, at a more believable age, like 42. He is alive. <laughs> hey, I'm a Christian Aldo Ronaldo found alive. He is still kicking still at 42. Kicking. <laughs> After months of speculation <laughs> about Christian Ronaldo's disappearance, we, have, we can confirm to you now that he is still kicking i've now remembered that david beckham is also a guy who plays <laughs> soccer and uh he according to wikipedia is still kicking still kicking <laughs> if you have a question about any other soccer player cuts ask to, someone else it cuts to the head of sport like the espn tower and they're just like yeah we're not gonna cover soccer on sports <laughs> anymore that'd be crazy because chris benoit had cte he was a wrestler yeah. and then he did like wrestling stuff to his family yeah what if um david beckham or some soccer buddy at cte and then like some neighbor is just sitting there and then all of a sudden flying through the air they're just like what the h and then they catch oh my god it's david beckham's <laughs> son's <kid's> head, head. <laughs> knocked it clean off <laughs> david beckham much like chris benoit then kicks his own head off kicks his own <laughs> finds a way <laughs> yeah <laughs> No, I would like to apologize to Lisa Kudrow. You're a beautiful woman. She is a beautiful woman. I was just confused by societal standards. Yeah. No, she's a beautiful woman. She's still very beautiful. She was in she's some cool. show. She was in some show that I was Didn't you try to become like mayor or something? Mm, that was Cynthia Nixon. I thought it was both of them. <laughs> they ran together. They're both going to be mayor. <laughs> Girl power. <laughs> we know what it's like to not be the hot one. <laughs> No, that's another because Sex in the City. They're like, you're like, okay, so are these supposed to? Be, you're like a kid. And you're like, are these supposed to be hot ladies? And then someone's like, oh yeah. And then you're like, so I'm so Cynthia Nixon. They're like, well, not her. Not her. And then you're like, okay, so this one looks like a bird. And they're like, well, no, no. she's the main character. What about the one that looks like a horse? So this okay. one who well, looks no. like an old woman? No. No. <laughs> okay, so one of them. Mr. Big? <laughs> so the one who just looks like a normal person? Am I supposed to want to fuck Mr. Big? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, we all love Mario Cantone, but this Come on. isn't carrying the show. What's your what's a what's a good fake name situation? I'm not gonna tell you what my fake name is. Well, no, just the situation. Oh, just because you're and then what uh, name you use? Drunk or high and feel like having fun with yourself. My name's just you alone. <laughs> <laughs> it's just you entering <laughs> online surveys. We'll see if Todd Malcolm wins. <laughs> <laughs> this copy of an I Insane Clown Posse uh, DVD. <laughs> <laughs> no, sometimes it's just fun to give somebody a fake name. No, when I was in college one time, we found out that Insane Clown Posse, were make, they had a movie coming out called Big Money Rustlers oh, 2. I've heard. You know Big Money Rustlers 2? Yeah. Two? Is them, yeah. <laughs> two, it's them two. as cowboys. Yeah. Rustlers. I've heard about it. Uh, Cowboy wrestlers. No, rustlers. <laughs> rustlers. It's but they're going to wrestle, probably. No, it's rustling. But they're probably going to wrestle. Cattle rustler. <laughs> this has nothing to do with JCW, other than that they both are under the general umbrella of the Juggalo Entertainment Corporate. Disney Plus has acquired <laughs> Juggalo. <laughs> J- every Juggalo is now a Disney every... employee. You can get all the ICP content <laughs> on HBO Max. <laughs> no, but they had like so we found some online contests where they were like we're giving away a copy of the movie on DVD with a TV with a built-in DVD player. Hell yeah! That has a bunch of ICP logos on the side. Fuck yeah! And I say on the side, 
And by that point, TVs were skinny. They didn't have papers of sides anymore. And everyone already had a PS2. You don't need yeah. to build it in. So we were we were really trying to win that, my roommates and I. Yeah. And then I remember I got really high later. And then I was uh, that was back when I, would get, I, I like could get really high. Yeah, because I was new to smoke for your weed. crippling. Addiction. That was back when it was possible to get high enough to worry that I was potentially going to be taking good ICP merchandise <laughs> away from people who would appreciate it more. And I had a moment in bed where I was like, God, can I unenter the contest? Can I need to, I'd like, I'd like to give these tickets back. <laughs> I would like to. If I win, can I donate at least the DVD copy of Big Money Rustlers too? I suppose I'll keep the TV because shipping, it seems prohibitively expensive. <laughs> yeah, maybe I could trade <laughs> for TV. But I'm still taking, and then it's like I'm making money off the juggalos. Yeah, now I'm <laughs> profiting. Yeah. Woo, woo, boo, boo. <laughs> whoop whoop boo boo but yeah man it was... tonight's big whoop whoop boo boo but as you can see <laughs> i don't own an insane clown posse <laughs> television well good you didn't deserve it it'd be a fun thing to be like you're arguing with like you're trying to move in with like a you got a trouble with the wife yeah and she's like you need to get rid of your insane clown posse big money get this thing out of the television. house it's not enough that you're What do you want me to do? Just throw it away? Yes. I have nightmares every night <laughs> that I took it away from someone who would truly appreciate it. <laughs> I can't just throw it away like the trash they treat juggalos like. I get all my enjoyment from watching the screen. There's a lot of people out there who would have enjoyed the screen, plus the side where there's a little a decal, <laughs> the other side where there's a painting. I think, I, I, in my mind, it was just stickers. It's probably It stickers. was just a TV, and they put some stickers It's probably, on. like, stickers. <laughs> it's probably printed-off printer paper <laughs> that they, like, taped <laughs> loosely to the side of a computer. Laminated and <laughs> taped. <laughs> And when I say laminated, I mean they wrapped it in uh, <laughs> cling wrap. It explodes when plugged in. <laughs> no, ICP is cool. That'd be fun to like. Someone should do some weird art where that's like funded by them. Yeah. Like it'd be great to find out some like the Irishman was funded by ICP. Yeah. <laughs> They're one of the producers of uh, the Irishman. I think they're on their they're on their last tour. Really? Yeah, one of them is like kind of sick and doesn't want to can't tour anymore. Oh man, they're pretty pretty old, and they've done some stuff. One of them fell off a bus. <laughs> <laughs> There's a video where you can watch um, Violent J. Yeah. Fall off a bus on accident and like land on concrete. That's not good. It was when they were wrestling. They did wrestling. Yeah, yeah. And he fell off a bus by accident. He was supposed to get thrown on top of the bus, which he did. But bus tops are round. Oh. And I assume clowns are slippery? (laughs) Question mark. I don't quite. There's still a little bit of a. There's still some mystery. (laughs) But there is a video. You can see. You can see it. It happened. And Violet J and Shaggy 2 Dope. No. Shaggy 2 Dope fell off the top. Okay. I was picturing Shaggy 2 Dope correctly, but I was saying Violent J. Yeah. Who do you think's the fat one? Violent J. Oh, yeah. Well, who Eric knows? Because he gets violent at the Golden Corral. <laughs> there's, there's, there's this is a video I remember seeing as a child where it was, it was like this clip that would get played a lot with like ICP stuff on like VH1, where it was them addressing that they were, people saying they were ripping off black culture. Yeah. And it was them being, him being like, how am I ripping off black culture? By having a bunch of clown face paint on and my hand covered in duct tape. And then he lifted up his hand, but sure enough, from like mid forearm, and then he had like a fist, and it was all just duct tape, like into a fist. And he's like, How am I remember black culture? Which it's like, Violent J, good point, sidetrack. What, what is the going fuck? on? <laughs> what is that about? Why? What is. What is why, what is the logic and or motive behind that? Well, he doesn't want people to think that he's appropriating black culture. <laughs> he's like, it's just someone doing very normal like hip hop and like using African American slang. Yeah. They're like, what is black culture about? Uh, 
guy walking around with a <laughs> with one roller plate on. <laughs> uh, I guess nothing. <laughs> I was I kept trying I kept trying to say things, but then it kept being things that rappers have done. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say what's what's referring to. Walking around with a big ornate cane. A big clock. <laughs> eye patch. Those are all examples of that. Yeah. It was eye patch and big clock. <laughs> Both have been done. Yeah. No, man, but it would be funny if it's like you're learning, you're watching like... There's nothing funny about exploiting black culture. That is true. But you're watching like an old... You're you're on YouTube and a Vlad TV video pops no, up. Okay. And it's like some real old... I love it. Some real old rap, you know, an OG. Yeah. And they're like, uh, mi- you know, mix mixed flavor... Mixed flavor DJ Flex. Mixed flavor DJ Flex. <laughs> talking about uh, biters in the industry. And you're like, well, I'll watch this. Sure. And only then, an hour and a half long. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's only 11 minutes and 17 seconds long. <laughs> and then you click on it and he's just like, yeah, everyone takes my shit. And then he starts gesturing with his arms. And you see one arm is covered, covered with duct tape. tape. <laughs> God damn it, Violent J. <laughs> oh, my God. You fucking thief. Mix flavor. DJ <laughs> Flex. Mix, mix flavor DJ Flex. Mix master flavor DJ Flex. Oh, this is my dog, Shaggy. <laughs> He's too dope. Shaggy, two dogs. He's too dope. I have two dogs. Shaggy, two dogs. I got two shaggy dogs. I call them shaggy two dogs. Oh. You ever thought about ripping off black culture? Oh, yeah, dude. I was working on some raps earlier. Really? Oh, yeah. I used to do a little bit of a white rap type thing. No, I'm going to take it seriously. Okay. I mean, you... I got the board. <laughs> I was about to say, you said that and stared at the mixing board. <laughs> Would you like... the board. Yeah, this is a movie. Yes. But unfortunately, I know enough about how stuff is made. No. <laughs> <laughs> what, you think I can't rap on this? Well, I think you need more than that. That would be the equivalent well, of I like, need a beat. So be drop like, the beat. <laughs> that'd be like having a muffler and being like, you saying I can't get drive to, to Memphis? All I need is to re- all you need to rap is to record your voice. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> what is this? Some sort of Kendrick Lamar inspirational speech? <laughs> Mm. Hey, this is how's this for like if Franklin, Tennessee had a had a hard times. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is for no one. <laughs> Franklin, Tennessee is their own Germantown Times yeah. satire paper. Yeah. Uh, K- Kesha has bought property in Franklin. The dumpster behind the gas station is now officially hers. <laughs> the dumpster behind the Valero. <laughs> Coming off 65. It's officially owned by her. We spotted her going in every morning for a hoagie. <laughs> and eating it while sitting on the very tippy top of the gas dispensers. No, nah, Kesha's cool. I love Kesha. I would never say a bad word about her. Even though I just did. She is saying about it. You said she owns a Valero. Uh, no, her she, owns part of a... She's a part owner. She owns property. <laughs> She's part owner of a Valero. <laughs> <laughs> it's some guy who like has a cupcake stand inside of like a Valero. Yeah. Like they're like, oh, I I work for little Debbie, and I put the little Debbie <laughs> thing on the end of the aisle. And they're like, I'm part owner. I'm part owner. Because I controlled the stand. I control the stand. <laughs> and you guys. Without me, there's no little Debbie. <laughs> no, you would just get fired from your job and someone else would deliver the snack. <laughs> There's also a hostess. <laughs> hey, how about uh, an entrepreneur? And it's <laughs> He's like, like a... mouth open, boys. <laughs> Boy. I'm trying to make money. <laughs> how are we getting paid? <laughs> How's anyone making money off this deal? What is going on? Stop. <laughs> Stop. Silicon Valley has gone <laughs> too far. <laughs> What has Hot Topic ever done wrong? Hoodoo is a set of spiritual practices, traditions, and beliefs which was created and concealed from slaveholders by enslaved All Africans. right, fine. I was racist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're in the Carolina Low Country. I'm going to go I'm going to go convert to Hoodoo on my vacation. <laughs> Me and khaki shorts with like a pink long sleeve button down rolled yeah. up and a big old Panama hat. Yeah. Which way to the hoodoo? Which way to the hoodoo, boys? <laughs> I'm looking for the hoodoo. You want some weed? 
You're like, this is a deep. Oh, it is. You're like, oh, it is a thing. I'm on a, I'm on a tour. People do say that. Huh. <laughs> they're on a tour. They're like being very like uh, reverent, and they're like, this is a deeply important spiritual land. And I'm just really, I'm just talking to my girlfriend. Weeds exhaling out of my mouth. <laughs> is this like Gola Gola Island? <laughs> Remember that show? Remember? <laughs> Honey, remember? Are we gonna see a, I'm going to ask if there's a big frog. <laughs> I'm going to ask. Uh, why are you going on vacation? What? Uh, no, my girlfriend wants to go on vacation. Yeah. And then there's places I like to go, yeah. and then I don't do comedy there yet. Yeah. So to me, it's like, oh, this is untouched. This is a place I still appreciate. Yeah. Without having to be like, hey, that's that guy who heckled me one time. <laughs> I'm going to throw this... Margarita Adam. <laughs> no, because you go to Savannah, Georgia, and then you're like, this is just like old Louisville if it was nice. Yeah. And then they go, it used to be shitty. And they show you photos and you go, Wow, old Louisville could be nice. <laughs> no. What'd whoa. you guys do? And they're like, Well, we let people drink on the streets. And then you're like, Well, we've been doing that. That's, that's <laughs> and not that's, working. It's having the opposite problem. I'm afraid that's brought property values way down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how it worked for you. <laughs> Now I'm going to Charleston. Ta- ten. Charleston. Charles- Charlestown. <laughs> Charleston. <laughs> That's the it's love the interest in Charleston. Bridget Jones' diary. <laughs> Charles Townton. Townton Abbey. Yeah. Now I'm going to Charleston, Savannah, which I've been there both places before. Yeah. And I'm going to St. Augustine, Florida. Ooh. Which they're all like an hour and a half from each other. That'd be fun. That's great, because I'm because I, I I know how to book tours and yeah. shit. So you can book a vacation. I'm real good at vacation. Yeah. You can like if, if when this comedy thing falls over, I know. you can be a travel agent. I'll be a travel agent <laughs> for like broke people. <laughs> nah man, don't go to like LA and waste your money on a big flight. And It'll be like a shit. couple comes in and she's like, Well, I only have a week off work, so obviously we're gonna fly. And then I see the 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 boyfriend like gives me like a worried look and then I'm like Flying's cool, but everyone loves Asheville. How about just a night overnight in Asheville mm-hmm. while driving to the other place? <laughs> Make It'll the destination fun. part of the trip. It'll be fun. <laughs> the travel becomes the fun before you know it, you're there. Before you know it, there you are. <laughs> and you can stop again on the way up. <laughs> you can, on the way up, there's Athens, Georgia. You've already scoped it out. You can go back and find that sandwich shop you liked when you stayed there. Yeah. <laughs> Have it one more time. We'll crash on Ryan's couch. Bring one home. <laughs> That's where I'll retire. Scoundrel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when comedy really goes off the rails, I'm going to the low country. I'm going to hide out in the swamps of uh, the Amer- old America. There you go. Why not? Hell, yeah. That sounds fun. Oh, yeah. I'll definitely get killed. <laughs> 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 oh, dude, I went to Miss. When I was driving down to New Orleans, I almost got fucking killed in Mississippi. But... Where'd you. So, did you. When you went there, did you go through. How. Where'd you go through Mississippi? Did you go through, like, Jackson, or did you just go down to Alabama and then across, I like, the Gulf? I just went, like, just, like, straight fucking south. I don't know. Okay. Really, uh, and I wasn't, like. So, you weren't in Mississippi for long? No. I mean, I was just driving yeah. through it. I didn't stop. Like, I stopped in Nashville and then I didn't stop until I got okay. to New Orleans. Yeah. I pissed my pants, like, five times. <laughs> you had a diaper on and you were going to kill your <laughs> astronaut lover. <laughs> Remember that lady? That was great. That was pretty cool. That was a fun story. I didn't have diaper tabloid. She'd be a hero now. Dude. <laughs> She'd be everyone's with the Twitter way the, icon. With, with the way the women's movement has accelerated in the past <laughs> few years. She'd be an icon. This by bitch now. went to space and tried to kill her boyfriend. Yes, queen. And isn't a piss play. <laughs> yes, queen. <laughs> Don't kink shame my girl. <laughs> yeah, can't, why can't you? Don't just... murder shame my girl. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know how you can have like on a on a like RV or like a big bus, they can release the the thing and you, all the piss it goes out. out yeah. uh, why can't in your car you just have a big hole under the driver's seat? I don't see why. And you just drop some schematics. I don't know why in my mind the sound was better than saying a word. Uh, You're leaking oil. Nope. No. Shit. (laughs) They leaking. You're holding your five-year-old like over some sort of hole in the center console. Go ahead. Go. 
Come on. We're not stopping. <laughs> We're never stopping. We're yeah. never stopping. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have money. This vacation really sucks. <laughs> Dan's travel agency's gone too far. <laughs> Everyone loves to drive. He hollowed out a hole in my car that I could poop in. <laughs> that would be awesome as a travel agent. He's just like, you guys got to get this kind of peanuts when you're down there. <laughs> Trust me. You stop at a Valero. Stop at a Valero in Franklin. Go Trust out back. Me. It's a little bit of a trip down. Uh, it's like going to Hollywood, running into Kesha. Can I dress you? <laughs> I would like to dress you for your trip. <laughs> I think for you, I'm thinking like classic, like you know, loose bowling shirt, yeah, <laughs> beachwear, yeah, flip flops, khaki pants, khaki pants, no, denim shorts. And for the lady, <laughs> <laughs> when you're at an open mic, it's all our birthdays because we're gonna be born again in the light of laughter. I've been wondering this. You know, people do impressions. Yeah. Like you currently, yeah. You go see an impressionist. Yeah. <laughs> now, if people do impressions, are they, is the audience? Do they ever feel the need to explain why, like this person who's dead, or presumably a famous movie star, is suddenly at like a small comedy club? <laughs> Was that ever like part of? Like, did anyone ever overthink impressions? <laughs> Now, just in case there's some blind people here, that wasn't actually Morgan Freeman. Hey, I'm James Cagney, and I'm, <laughs> I'm a ghost who embodied a young comic on the stage. Uh, <laughs> look at me, huh, Sonny? Hey, I'm Christopher Walken in, at the improv for some I'm reason. I'm Walken here. <laughs> Isn't that dope? That joke has to have been done a thousand times. I'm, I'm Walken here. <laughs> I would love to just sell the shittiest merch. <laughs> just like, I'm walking here. And then a picture of Christopher Walken. And like, that's a bumper sticker I've got. <laughs> I've got sex, yes, please. <laughs> it's just a t-shirt that says sex, yes, please. Male, female. And then you write individually on every shirt. In yes, big please. red Sharpie, yes, please. I go, Over this, it all. They go, well, this wash out? And I go, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> Not all the way, though. <laughs> It'll actually smudge. So like it won't even look good. It'll... It's gonna look like shit in like a week. But hey, I, Christopher Walken was here. Christopher Walken showed up. Everyone, turn around. Christopher, Christopher Walken, Walken just came. Out. What are you doing here? <laughs> I'm here. I'm at the Umbra. <laughs> I'm here to do some jokes, honey. <laughs> One of the server season later, you pop. Do not tell anyone that Christopher Walken didn't really show. Let up. anyone fucking know. Don't show any. Delete the security tapes for a lot of reasons, but just mostly. I thought you ever seen Michael, the club owner, ever go bananas because they've been around for a while. Yeah, and they used to like film sets. He'll always post like, uh, like any comic who worked here from 1995 to 2002. I have. Tape of your sets, and if you don't pay me a thousand dollars, I will. I will make sizzle reels of you saying racist jokes. And <laughs> ah, good man, that would be great. Good man, he should do that. You should do that. You should get into blackmail. I would love that. <laughs> I'm gonna, start, I'm gonna start recording every open mic, mm -hmm. and then when people have really bad sets, be like, "I'm yeah. gonna release this. I'm putting it out. I'm gonna put it on SEO type shit, so it's number one for you forever." <laughs> like that weird video of me on the South Dakota yeah. news that everyone sees for some reason. <laughs> like every city in America, we have a terrible comedy club with a great open mic, yeah. and then uh, a good comedy club with a just okay open mic. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. There's nothing wrong with it. I don't know. I went for fun uh, last week. No, but the bad fun. mic, or the bad club, oh boy, do they have a good mic. They do have a good mic. Because everyone bombs, and then you go up and you're just like, a, I, a know how to, I know how a mic works. I know how to talk <laughs> into this thing. And I, <laughs> you go up and turn it on. I have almost prepared material. I'm, I'm re I almost have jokes. You go up 17th <laughs> out of 20 and turn the mic on. <laughs> it was unplugged, guys. <laughs> I think that might actually Hey, who's to ready to laugh? All of us. Please. We all Please. are. Please. <laughs> I should steal that joke. <laughs> Take my wife. No, please. <laughs> please. I'm going to do that tonight. It's <laughs> <laughs> legitimately find a spot in my set to do, to do that type of thing. <laughs> 
<laughs> say it, then you get real close up. I like, mean, uh, here and be like, please. I mean, <laughs> she's she's not letting me leave the house. Right I mean, I'm not one to talk about fashion. I take my shirt, please. <laughs> It's a huge laugh. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm not much for sex. Take my dick, please. <laughs> no, man, UTI fucking sucks, man. You should try it, though, sometime. <laughs> Is that what Andrew Yank trying to get everybody? UTI. <laughs> he has to have misspoken, and said that at least once. <laughs> <laughs> I want to guarantee UTIs for all of America. Remember, Andrew, it's a young crowd. UBIs for all, UTIs for, for no none. one. Except those two. And he points to two people fucking in the sand. Because <laughs> he's on the beach for some reason. <laughs> uh, all right. That's <laughs> enough. <laughs>